yes, I have. Hey. Chicken nuggets, no. You know, technically a term. It's just uh, an invention of our society for those people who are, you know, who are English from the outside, but they are originally Arab. And uh, those people speak English during the day with all with all their friends, even if they are Arabs. Uh, they're kind of Americanized and affected by the media Hollywood created. طبعا اللغة العربية عربي عربي Sometimes, yeah, I do. I think I'm a person who speaks English. I'm some of them, and they're not the ones who speak English. So, to communicate with them, they have to speak in a different way. I'm mostly sports, yes. Even um, concerning texting, maybe also we tend to mix Arabic and English at the same time. No, all. I think, whether I think it's good or not, I think a lot of people do. Um, I mean, you hear English spoken all the time, for instance, when I came here to Bahrain, you know, there wasn't a necessity on me to learn Arabic because English is spoken so much here that I can converse easily with people without having to speak. Um, some people would say that's a good thing, others might say that it's such a shame because you've lost your national language. Based on research, the world ranking for the most widely spoken languages in 1996, Arabic was ranked number four, and in 2010, Arabic has dropped to number six and less people seem to be using it on a daily basis. Of course, because Arabic language is not about just the language, it's about our culture, our tradition, and our religion is mostly in Arabic. We could translate it to our other languages, but the Quran is in Arabic, and our prayers in, is in Arabic, so mostly you have to know Arabic to be Muslim. Well, أن الإسلام له اللغة يعني الإسلام يعرف اللغة العربية القرآن يعرف اللغة العربية فلازم أن أي شخص يتحاشى باللغة العربية بطريقة طريقة يعني فصحى وشيء لون لازم أن يكون مسلم هاي هاي شيء تعبنا عليه حتى في في البحرين لأن اللغة العربية لغة القرآن فلازم إحنا كمسلمين نستعمل لغاتنا أكثر من أي لغة ثانية. I think it's very important that you keep the language of your culture. I think it's part of your identity, and I think it's you know very much part of your life. So I think it's important that you keep the language. 
It is because you have to read the Quran in Arabic. Uh, so I think it's very vital that a Muslim can understand the language, especially if they're Arab. I do if they're aiming towards international business because unfortunately it's the language of the world now but I think more Arabic should be influenced into um, other topics. I mean that's a debate some people might say yes some people might say no I mean here we teach you through English because we're trying to create a situation where you're prepared for working in a world environment, you know, um, that you can go abroad and you can work, or if you're based in Bahrain, that you can, you know, speak with somebody from a company from a different country. So probably English is a common language from that point of view, but I still think it's important that you, you keep your Arabic. هو شيء يكون زين حق المستقبل لأن أم أم إذا بتدرسين برا إذا في تحصل بعثة أو شيء إن معظم جامعات أو معظم دول العالم يتكلمون باللغة الإنجليزية فبتواصلين أكثر مع الدول الخارجية مع الجامعات اللي برا فهاي شيء زين بس إنه لازم في البحرين إنه يكون في علاقة في مواد أو مادتين درسون عربي أساس يقوون إنه عشان ما تختفي اللغة العربية I don't, I'm not sure about the rest of the Arab world, but um, concerning Bahrain, since we have both public and private schools, um, that's just more on uh, one language and uh, vice versa. For example, like public schools, they focus more on the Arabic language, and private schools uh, focus more on the English language, so we have a good balance between both. It's not good because uh, students of Bahrain are using the English language uh, all out of the day because they think uh, it's cool to speak English and and they'll be like Americans and European people and they'll change the society we have based on the language. وهو إيه لأن العالم كله صار يستعمل لغة واحدة هي اللغة الإنجليزية لغة موحدة. فعشان كذا إحنا مضطرين نجسد. وهي طبعا ان البحرين معروفه بتاريخ ان هي دوله عربيه خليج خليج عربي فاذا قاموا يتحكون انجليزي كنا كنا صار جنا خذينا من جانب شيء وما عطينا يعني بدل ما ناخذ ما هم ياخذون منا شيء احنا قاعد ناخذ منهم شيء فبدل ما ناثر عليهم ياثروا علينا فبعدين هاي كنا بيصير أم أم سمعه اللغه العربيه بتنزل في العالم او كمجتمع اي لان اللغه تعتبر الثقافة فهي التراث والثقافة بتكون فإذا ما حينا اللغة العربية ايش بقى لنا من تاريخنا وذي وكل شيء بالعربي عندنا Of course Of course Because it's gonna gradually you know escalate First gonna be just a language Then our traditions will change Then we will have no culture because That's just the beginning of losing our culture And without the culture we are no people
Maybe not immediately, but I think eventually it will. If you're moving away from your language, you're moving away slowly, eventually from your ways. Um, I think it's important that you have your Arabic language because, you know, it is so embedded with your culture. Um, I think if you lose it, obviously, you know, it's, it's a shame if you do. Um, well, I think, I mean, if I'm listening to even some of you talking on the phone, I often hear bye rather than masalama, you know, or I hear hi. <laughs> so it's kind of become part of your, your daily speech. You start to incorporate little bits of okay. I hear a lot in, you know, in your conversation, even if you're speaking all the rest in Arabic. So it's become something that you sort of include without even thinking about it. Well, you look at TV, I mean, if I look at your TV channels here, you've got so many English speaking channels. So you've got TV, also online, a lot of the communication online is through English. So kind of modern culture tends to have a lot of English embedded in it. Probably through music, videos, films, Hollywood, the music industry, that's probably the biggest influence for the young. Yeah, you know what it is.